Swamp pink is a plant that's uh, listed as threatened under the Endangered Species Act. And it's a wetland plant. It depends on wetlands. It only occurs in wetlands. Um, it's a perennial evergreen plant, meaning that it um, stays in the same spot pretty much from year to year. Um, it does send up flowers each spring, but it primarily reproduces by vegetative means underground. And um, it's been listed on the Endangered Species Act since 1989. Swamp pink is primarily threatened due to historical causes where wetlands were uh, largely cleared and filled in to make way for other land uses. We are at the edge of uh, Camden County College in um, the Blackwood area, which is part of Gloucester Township in Camden County, New Jersey. We have a campus of about 390 acres. Uh, and uh, we've known for a number of years now that on part of our campus, uh, the uh, swamp pink, an endangered plant, uh, was flourishing, and we've heard from uh, our friends in U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service that it's one of the best stands of swamp pink uh, in the region. This is the um, area that we um, know as Campus Swamp. Um, it's a really important, high-quality swamp pink occurrence. There's a lot of plants in here and some very high-quality habitat. And um, Camden County College has been aware of the swamp pink for many years and has been cooperative in monitoring the plant. But in 2008, they contacted us to uh, begin some work on land use planning. And they've um, been working with us ever since to ensure that their land use plans included um, really good protection for the swamp pink. Here we have some swamp pink plants um, growing very nicely here in Campus Swamp. Uh, this is really one of our most uh, abundant sites for swamp pink. There's a lot of swamp pink in here. As you kind of um, look through, you'll see it. It's, it's really kind of growing everywhere. This is Last year's growth, um, it'll remain evergreen um, over the winter and then in the spring the new growth will, will come up in the, the center of these rosettes. Even though it's August and pretty dry, the um, uh, substrate in here is uh, saturated but not flooded. This sphagnum moss is really a very typical aspect of the habitat. The uh, swamp pink tends to occur on what I'm standing on, which is the hummocks or the root uh, masses. Um, that allow it to stay above uh, the standing water in the spring when this becomes more flooded. This is a pretty typical canopy cover for swamp pink, and it's pretty closed canopy, but not completely. Uh, just a little bit of light, you know, hitting the um, the forest floor that allows the uh, the plants to propagate both by vegetative means and um, by flowering, which they'll do in April. So this is really a great um, great example of swamp pink habitat. The first phase of the college's um, development plans involved changes to the existing campus. Part of that involves some uh, road construction right next to the campus swamp wood line. So the college has been very proactive and cooperative in developing best management practices or BMPs and that includes things like double row of silt fencing that is inspected every day and they also have made room for um, advanced stormwater basins that will infiltrate groundwater right in this particular spot to benefit swamp pink. They've preserved the entire parcel that supports the swamp pink. This is over 80 acres of habitat, both wetland and upland buffer, and that's really a critical measure they've implemented. We are certainly committed to preservation of the species and uh, to a green environment. And we're fortunate that we have enough land that we were able to uh, enter into an agreement where we could set aside 90 acres, 90 plus acres on one end of our campus uh, so that this species would be preserved for uh, perpetuity. We're standing right now in the upland buffer to um, the campus swamp population. And there's uh, several hundred feet of upland woods between us and the swamp pink. And this is really one of the critical components to protecting swamp pink is getting an adequate upland buffer that is gonna protect that wetland from sediment and other things that might be running off the, the parking lots and the road. It provides an area where the rainwater will recharge and infiltrate um, that can then flow down and come back out um, in the wetland and that's what maintains that really nice saturated um, hydrology that we saw earlier. We're happy to do this in any circumstances where we know we have a listed species but in this case um, the college anticipated needing wetland permits from the state of New Jersey. So by working with us from the very beginning, 
Um, they not only were able to build in some great protections for the swamp hank, but they um, prevented future conflicts that could arise uh, when the permits um, come time for review. We're happy with our partnership with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and we look forward to a long and uh, fruitful uh, relationship that will help us in our educational mission and help them in their preservation mission here in Camden County. Well, we really appreciate the cooperative relationship we've had with the college. Uh, we think this is a great opportunity to benefit both their educational mission as well as protection of an endangered species. And this is the sort of thing that we'd love to see uh, wherever swamp pink occurs.